Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. Before we get into all the fabulousness that's going to be in this video for today, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I make a video. Well, who we have here today is little Miss Constance Agnetta. That's right. I have two babies in my collection that were named after my mom, and this is one of them. Um, I'm going to tell you about that in just a moment, but first I'm going to tell you all the things I'm going to do in this video. Yes, we're continuing the final countdown. No doll left behind. That is between Cena and myself and anyone else who wants to join in. If you want to join in the final countdown, no doll left behind, join in. We would love to see your dolly countdown. See how many dolls you have in your collection, as we say. Um, but yes, um, so I'm going to be adding more babies to my handy dandy llama notebook. Um, in my countdown for today, several babies actually. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing Sleepy Baby Sunday. That is a tag put on by the beautiful Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. Most of the babies that I'm adding into the countdown today are Sleepy Babies. But as you can see, this little girl is not. Her beautiful big green eyes are wide open. Doesn't she have the most beautiful green eyes? That is one of the main reasons that I got this doll in my collection, which I will talk about in just a moment. Um, I also have two snaps. That's right. I've been waiting to do the one snap for a couple weeks. I was going to do it before I um, had a little bit of a break. Not intentional. It just kind of happened that way. I saw on Leisha, uh, Leisha um, her um, her channel, Binky and Blanky's Nursery, um, she dressed her baby in an outfit for Disney Monday, and I was like, oh, snap, and that is a tag put on by Jay at J Dolls UK, so I'm going to change one of my babies and put my baby in at least part of an outfit that I saw on her baby, and I was like, hey, I have that outfit, and I love the tag snap. That's just where you see an outfit that one of your dolly friends has on their baby, and you're like, hey, I have that outfit. So you put your baby in that outfit and say, snap, we have the same outfit. So um, I'm going to snap Leisha at Binkies and Blankets Nursery. She has a beautiful channel, so much fun over there. She is doing all kinds of fun things with her beautiful dolls and she does uh, lives on her channel and she just has so much fun over there. You guys have to go check her out too. And then um, I'm just going to talk about what's been going on in my life and why I was absent for, I don't even know how long it was. It was a couple weeks, I think. Um, but just what's been happening in my life. And then just a couple other things that I wanted to talk about um, in general, but first we're going to talk about this little mama. Okay. Um, she is an Adora doll. She I'm adding to the dolly countdown. She again is named after my mom, Constance Agnetta, but we call her little Connie because my mom, her nickname was Connie. Um, I adopted her shortly after my mom passed. So actually I had a custom doll made beautiful doll that I love so much and I'm not going to show her at this moment but when that doll came um that doll really didn't look very much like my mom um to me even though I had her custom made um and I thought the sculpt kind of looked like my mom and the artist I love the doll though the doll that I received um was made by uh, Missy at uh, Forever Babies by Missy and I love her her name is also Constance Agnetta after my mom. But just like when you have a baby, the baby doesn't necessarily look like whoever you name it after. You just give the baby a family name because she's a part of the family. So she's like my mom's granddaughter, you know, doesn't necessarily look like my mom, but she has beautiful green eyes and brown hair like my mom did, but she really looks nothing like my mother. So I was like, I told my husband, I was like, gee, baby, I'd really like to have a doll that looks more like my mom. And so I was just looking for a doll with 
green eyes and dark brown hair to black hair because my mom had dark hair and green eyes. And it's not that easy to find a doll with dark hair and green eyes. They have a lot of um, babies that have green eyes and red hair. That was why I had the custom made in the first place because you can find a lot of dolls with red hair and green eyes, but there's not that many dolls with green eyes and brown or black hair. And this little baby is so cute. She was like, looked more like what I imagined my mom would look like. And I just wanted to have a baby to represent how my mom looked. And this baby fit the bill for me. So I ordered her. She is an Adora doll. I think she's so cute. She sits next to my dad doll. And you're like, why are you telling us all this today? Well, um... Part of the reason, so um, if you guys follow my channel, we went to Bayfield, Wisconsin, which is where both of my parents, my dad is not from there, but he moved there when he was like um, eight or nine or something like that. So he went to grade school with my mom. They knew each other since they were kids. All my aunts and uncles and everybody lived in Wisconsin, you know, growing up. And um, so, you know we all went there all the time and this time when I went there so both of my parents are buried there and this time when I went there my mom's uh headstone was on her grave and everything and we went to visit that um place and it was just you know very emotional seeing it all there and my dad's had been there for a while because my dad passed a couple years ago but seeing my mom's there and everything and then just being there um, without her for the first time for Apple Festival because that was something that we always went to as a family and shared together. It was just really emotional for me and stuff and she just loved Bayfield so much and it was just emotional and um, I just and it was also you know her birthday and I try to remember instead of remembering um, people around the time of their death you know, I don't like mark it on my calendar or, or try to like do some kind of remembrance on the day that they died because that's a sad day. You know, um, I try to more remember them around their birthday and a happy time and a, a happy day. And my mom loved her birthday and she always loved everybody else's birthday and always, you know, would do a special dinner and make a homemade cake. And she was a really beautiful baker and just a beautiful person and of course I miss her uh, sorry I'm getting emotional um so it was just kind of a hard week um after coming home and I was very happy I mean we had a beautiful time there but it was also very emotional and then when I came home um I don't know I was just emotional that's all and when I'm really emotional I try not to you know um I just try to take some time to myself. I mean, all of us deal with varying degrees of depression, I'm sure. You know, I don't have diagnosed depression or anything like that. I mean, we all have some depression at times or times where we're grieving or things are not the best, you know. Um, there's always times where things are sad. I mean, things are sad. Things are crazy in the world. And then the war broke out and I was just like, man, what is happening? You know, don't let me get all down in the dumps. Let me show you what I'm going to change her into. I'm sorry. I didn't even mention what this doll's kit is called. I mean, she is an Adora doll from um, the Adora collection. So she's a manufactured doll. She's my only Adora doll. Um, her actual name from Adora is called, oh, I have it in my handy dandy book where all of my dolls' names are. She is called Toddler Time Maca Raccoon, okay? And I love raccoons too. So when I saw the outfit she was in and everything and the orange, because I just love orange, I'm going to put her in her original outfit, but it just kind of speaks fall and Halloween and stuff. Isn't it cute? Look at it. has this adorable little raccoon on it. And it's all bright orange. And it comes with these cute little pants. And leg warmers with these little balls. Isn't that cute? 
I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I know her brother, Luther, had these little raccoon shoes on with his Halloween outfit. But she's just going to borrow them for the purposes of this video to show her original outfit. And then this cute little headpan with these blue, um, I'm sorry, red pom-poms on it. So I'm going to change her so you can see her body and everything too. This is an outfit that she had on for Shark Week. I just thought it looked so cute on her, but it's actually getting cold now. So I'm just going to change her out of this outfit and put her into a more fall-like outfit. I actually like her in green. I have some really pretty green outfits because my mom loved to wear green to showcase her beautiful green eyes. You know, when you do wear colors that make your eyes pop, it just makes you look even prettier. So I do have some special outfits for her to wear that are going to be more green for winter and things like that but I'm just going to show her body but anyway when I'm feeling like that you know I'm just not in the mood to make um, videos as much and then I ended up slipping down a slippery slope of watching this um, my daughter told me about this series called love is blind well, actually, don't don't let me totally um, put it on my daughter. I had watched a previous season of it and enjoyed it. But then she was like, did you see there's a new season of Love is Blind out? And I was like, there is. So I, I started watching that. And that's like, I don't know how many episodes, but they're hour long episodes. So that's, you know, 12 hours or 13 hours of my life that I won't get back. Um, and so I ended up binge watching that. Um, and, you know, I do work full time, long hours. And then um, I also do like to make videos in the morning. And in the morning, um, I had been waking up every single day with headaches. So, you know, when you wake up with a headache, I'm just trying to get um, I get migraine headaches and I do have medication that does help me make it through so I can function and uh, make it through the day. But, um, you know, I still don't feel good. <laughs> Isn't she cute? And I'm going to show you little details of her. Um, her hair is a wig, but it's really nice hair. If you see, she's got curly little locks back here. You can brush through it. It's pretty nice, soft little hair. Um, the wig is really nice. Um, you know, you can style it. You can put things in it. It's it's good quality hair. Her eyelashes are applied, but she has a really pretty little face. Um, her body is nicely stuffed to sit. She's not the most cuddly baby, you know, but her arms don't really move. They're not like on a sliding um, thing. I mean, you can move them, but they don't slide, you know, up and down or anything. And her head doesn't really move back and forth. She's fairly stiff. Same with her legs. You know, you can move them a little bit, but they don't have uh, like a little slide piece in there. So you can just move them a little bit. The plastic that she's made with is pretty hard. It's not soft vinyl. It's hard plastic, but her painting is really cute. I mean, the cuteness factor, she is adorable. Really, really, really cute. Um, I haven't done anything to change out her body or anything like that, and I'm not going to because she is basically a display doll for me um, just to represent my mom. Like she said, like I said, she sits by my dad doll, Wallace Wyatt, and I like the fact that she's a little smaller because my dad was a lot bigger than my mom, and the outfit that she came on, this is the outfit that I'm going to put on her, is super, super cute. She's really easy to dress, um, definitely like newborn size or a little smaller than newborn size, but she fits newborn pretty good. Um, just really, really a cute, sweet little girl, really, really adorable, <laughs> pretty little doll, like for a little girl or just like more as a display doll, not like a really cuddly doll, um, but adorable and cute. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Um, 
when I feel like that, you know, I just, and then when I was getting home from work, we had so much going on at my job. I was just exhausted. Like I would watch, you know, an episode of something. And then my husband and I, we do watch some shows together. Like we watch Survivor. Yes, Survivor is still on. Some of my coworkers are like, that show is still on. Yes, it's still on. And it is fun, you know, when you watch it with someone and you guys can talk about it. Oh my gosh, can you believe that they're doing this or they're doing that? It's pretty fun to watch it together, you know. It's pretty fun to watch it together. So we watch that together and um, by the time that's over, it's time for bed. So you eat dinner, have your bath, um, clean up after dinner, watch your show, and it's time for bed. And then the next day you have, you know, your 10-hour shift. And then my daughter comes over most of the time um, on my day off, which is great. I mean, we spend the day together and, um, you know, I, I just haven't really been taking the time to make videos or watch videos or anything like that. Nothing bad going on, just living life. But again, my, my babies and my dolls are always a part of my life. And when I am feeling like that, they really bring me a lot of comfort, you know, they bring me a lot of comfort and joy and it probably does help too that I do bring them to work and share um, them with my coworkers, uh, my coworkers. I have two coworkers that, oh, sorry, baby. Oh my goodness. This is a little headband that came with her. Just so cute, right? Look at that. So cute. She's such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Mama. Um, so I have two coworkers now that really are into the dolls too, which makes it so much fun. They're getting dolls and they bring dolls to work too. So we all get to see each other's dolls and get excited about each other's dolls. And my one coworker she has been getting these little mini reborns that are so adorable. I'm like, oh my goodness, I want one of these mini reborns now. I mean, I do have um, mini Ashton Drake dolls, which are super, super cute. Like my um, Celebration of Life, Emily. I think that's what her name is. I'll look in my book later to find out. I don't know if you guys can see her feet the way that I have her but look at these cute little leg warmers she has on with the balls on them isn't that cute she is precious and her outfit is so pretty but yeah they they have beautiful I mean I think they are just so cute and precious so here she is in her original outfit with her little shoes and leg warmers looking adorable with a little raccoon lovey <laughs> i just think she is beautiful so my little constance agnetta my mom doll um, because i didn't come on for her birthday celebrating for her birthday and just the fact that i love my mom so much and she was born in October and she was a beautiful beautiful the best mom in the world to me and this doll is just a cute little sweet little representation for her so I am adding her to the countdown now let's get into the sleepy babies I have a lot of them to show you guys so that was the first baby for the countdown for today here is baby number two and do you see what she is wearing? This is little Roz. She is the Royson sculpt. And she was reborn by Marisol at Marisol's Doll Nursery. She is a cute little sleeping girl. Just an adorable little sleeping girl. And do you see the outfit she is wearing? This is a oh snap on Cena at Cena's Dolls. She has her baby monk. Uh, not her baby monkey. Oh my goodness. She is going to get on me about calling Fifi a monkey. <laughs> Fifi the, I think she's a chimpanzee. She was wearing this outfit, or she's been wearing it all week, to be honest. And Bella is like, why you didn't put me in that outfit yesterday, Mama? Well, this outfit, she was trying to squeeze in it, okay? But she couldn't quite fit into it, so she had to wear this 
to match with her cousin Fifi. But this is the actual same outfit as Fifi had on. So we're doing the snap. Oh, snap. We got the same outfit as Fifi on my sweet little Roz, the Royston sculpt, one of my sleeping babies. Isn't she precious? She's got her sweet little Batgirl outfit on with the glittery little tutu flounce skirt. She's got her little hand mitts on and this adorable little hat. She also has these cute little socks on because, as we know, Batgirl is a night owl, but she just happens to be asleep right now because she is a tired little baby girl for Sleepy Baby Sunday. I'm not tired, Mama. We know you're not tired, Bella. Oh, my goodness. Bella just has to be all in the camera. She wants to say hello to all of her aunties, uncles, cousins, and friends. As you can see, this outfit is too small for you, okay? I know you wanted to wear it, but it wasn't going to fit you, Mama. She looks cute in the outfit she has on, though, don't you guys think? Yes, you look cute in this, too, Bella, okay? You look cute in this, too. Oh, my goodness. Next up, we have Gina. This is my sweet little cuddle baby, Gina. She is the Ava Lee by Tiffany Campbell, and she was reborn by Sweet Sunrise Nursery. I adopted her from Gina at Midwest, Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. She is a sweet cuddle baby. Look at how pretty she is. Look at those pretty beautiful lips and those big long eyelashes. She really is a beautiful doll. And look at the beautiful peaches and cream coloring on this beautiful sweet cuddle baby girl. She's so cuddly in her fleecy little um pumpkin sleeper sack she's just the sweetheart and her little hat says baby's first halloween she's so cute and so snuggly she loves to hold this cute little pumpkin here this little pumpkin's name is pumpkin <laughs> so cute so that is baby number three for the countdown today oh little gina Next up for the countdown, we have little Andrea Grace, a.k.a. Gracie. She is my Laura Sculpt. She is from Bonnie Brown, reborn by a BB for you. I did adopt her from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. She is so sweet. I love this baby so much, too. She is so sweet. Now, her outfit, I definitely did have on a baby last year. It is not a new outfit, but her hat and her booty set is new. So, that is new dolly clothes from JUK Dolls. Look at this adorable little set she has on. So cute hand knit hat and booty set. And look at my sweet girl. She is so beautiful. So beautiful. My sweet little Gracie, Andrea Grace. And she is wearing the um, personalized passy clip made by my co-worker for my baby. I use it between her and Madeline Andrea, spelled specifically for my baby. She does take a magnetic passy, but sometimes I like to put full passies on because this is what babies actually use and this is a really purple pretty purple one she does have um some touches of purple on her little pumpkin outfit i just love this outfit it's beautiful for fall and for halloween and i just think she is so adorable in it this does glow in the dark too the little accents on here glow in the dark i just think it's so cute and so sweet and this baby is so precious the way she moves and just the way she cuddles and snuggles she's just as sweet as she can be my sweet little baby girl so this is baby number four for the countdown for today the final countdown This baby I already showed the other day because I was showing her and I already put her in the countdown with the other babies. So I'm not trying to mess things up on the countdown, but 
I just wanted to show her again because she is so cute and she's one of my sleeping babies. This is Madeline Andrea. She is the Sophia Gray Sculpt, my beautiful, sweet baby girl. She I adopted from Cena at Cena's Dolls and she was reborn by Natalie Scholl at Millie Moon Nursery. But she is just so sweet and beautiful. I just wanted to show her for Sleepy Baby Sunday because she's one of my sleepy babies. She is so precious and so cute. Though look at my baby. Look at my baby girl. Yes, I had to show her with all of my sleepy babies because she's a sleepy baby too. She's a sleepy baby too as she wanted to be in this video, okay? So she's just a part of the video. She's just a part of the video because I'm doing a show your doll collections too. That's why. Because I'm doing a show your doll collections. And this is one of my, this is my sleepy baby doll collections. The only babies that I'm not showing that are sleepy babies are my silicone sleepy babies and my um mini sleepy babies, which I only have one that's not silicone, but... I'm not showing her in this collection, but otherwise I'm showing all of my sleepy baby dolls in this collection video. So she definitely had to be in here because she is so precious to me and she's one of my sleepy babies. Next up we have little Miss Margie. Little Miss Margie, she is the um, spice kit from um, Bountiful Babies, and she was reborn from Donna Rupert at Wendy's Sweet Pea Nursery. I did also um, adopt her from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery, and she adopted her from Tammy at Tater Tots Nursery. So she has had a couple of mommies in this beautiful doll community. But look at her gorgeous hair. I just love her and her big double chin. <laughs> she is so precious. And her little barely there eyelashes. This beautiful, sweet, pretty girl. And her cute little, um, her cute and sweet little Halloween jammies with the little owls and the smiling pumpkins. My sweet little girl, Margie, she's a sleeping sweetheart. She has her little bracelet on that she always loves to wear, and she's always content. She really has beautiful peaches and cream coloring and those big pretty lips and that double chin. The double chin is what really got me with this baby. I was like, oh my goodness, I have got to have this precious baby. Look at her. Look at her in that big double chin. She is so adorable. My sweet little Margie. Next up, it's the beautiful Nubia. It's the beautiful Nubia. She is the Gabby Gal Asleep from Claire Taylor. And she is from Gladys Knight Reborn Nursery. I actually got her off of Makari, though. I purchased her from her previous mommy from Makari. But she is um, Nubia, I named her, or a.k.a. Nunu. Um, the Gabby Gal Claire Taylor, Gladys, um, not Gladys Knight. Oh, my gosh. Did I just say Gladys Knight? But she is from Gladys Nursery Reborn Baby Dolls. That's who painted her. But she is so beautiful. Look at her painting. Look at her beautiful coloring and those beautiful lips and her eyelashes. Mama put big, beautiful diamond earrings on my girl. She is so pretty. And she is a little bit of a bigger doll. She wears more like three to six months um, clothing and this is a new outfit okay this is new dolly clothes from J Dolls UK for sure it does say my first Halloween um, I think this is her first Halloween with us here I think this is her first Halloween here 
um, in the jungle room. But look at this adorable little fleecy outfit. It's got these little candy corns on here. And this cute little monkey. Look at she's got little pumpkin outfit on and holding her little pumpkin. Isn't that so cute? She is just sleeping so peacefully. My sweet little Nunu. She's sleeping so peacefully. And it's really, really a soft fleecy outfit. This baby is so cuddly. And look at the little feet on it. They're just little pumpkins on her feet. She's so cuddly. And then she's got this cute little headband with pumpkins on it. I'm just going to put a little bit of water spray on her hair. Nope. You know what? I like to use this just for me natural hair milk. She could use just a tiny bit on her hair. And I'm just going to comb through it just gently just gently just a little bit here just gently she's just got you know a little bit of hair not too much like about how much she would probably actually have at this age she is just beautiful though isn't she stunning my sweet sweet nunu a beautiful beautiful baby i think she is so pretty and she's always so peaceful and sleeping so soundly. Next up, I have an itty bitty preemie girl. Yes, I do. This is my sweet, sweet baby. She is Graceland. She is Graceland. She looks like my tiniest little one. Well, she's over a year now, but my um, youngest grandbaby, Tatum, she looks like her to me. She is wearing a cute little um, apple outfit. This outfit was gifted to me in a, well, gifted, gifted, if you want to say, in a box opening with um, my newest baby that I'm going to be showing you. Well, my newest reborn doll. I've gotten a couple dolls that I haven't introduced you guys to yet. But um, look at this adorable little apple outfit that she has on. I love this outfit. I put it on many of my babies. And I don't think I've shown it yet. So I'm going to say new dolly clothes at J Dolls UK. I've used it many, many times um, on many of my dolls. But I don't think I've shown it on my channel yet or on any pictures of my dolls yet. But I love this outfit. It is so cute. I absolutely love it with all these multicolored apples all over it. And it fits preemie and newborn um, really, really well. She's just got this cute little white bow in her hair. And just because we went to the Apple Festival and I love apples, she's got these cute little pom-pom socks on. And she is a Megan um, from Bountiful Baby. She is a preemie size doll. And she was created and reborn by Tammy C. Tuff at Heaven's Treasures. And she is adorable. I really, really love this little girl. I got her shortly after my grandbaby was born. And look in her mouth. You can see her little gums in there. I just think she is precious. She has long, pretty lashes. Really nice painted hair. I love babies that have no hair, bald, painted hair. Um, uh, what do you call it? Combi hair, rooted hair, all kinds of dolls. I just love to have every kind of doll that there is. And she has full limbs. She is just so precious. So just another cute little sleeper, just a little preemie girl sleeper. Next up, I have these two. This is Brenna and this is Becca. These are two babies that I got when I was first in the hobby. Um, and I first started collecting dolls, I ordered her off of eBay. And I know I've told the story before, but I actually cried my eyes out when I opened this doll. She's one of the first dolls that I got, one of my first sleeping dolls. She might have been my first sleeping doll. Um, she is actually a replica of the Twin A. When I ordered her and received her, I didn't realize that she was a replica doll. I didn't really even know anything about replica dolls. And when I um, posted pictures of her, one of my friends, um, who is still a friend to me now on Facebook, um, she told me, oh, be careful while you're posting pictures of her. She's a replica doll. And I was like, what do you mean? So she's the one who even told me what replica doll was and like started telling me about the whole thing about replica dolls, et cetera, et cetera. And so I was like, well, I guess I'm on the side of the replica dolls. <laughs> 
because I didn't even know what they were. And I opened this doll and I was totally in love with her. And I was like, uh, okay, I mean, it's a doll. You know what I mean? She's a beautiful doll and I love my baby. These, um, and then when, when, um, by the time I had gotten her and opened her and started posting pictures of her, I already had Becca on the way because I was like, oh my gosh, there's more versions. And so I already had Becca on the way. And as you can see, she is an AA version with beautiful curly hair. Her hair is rooted. She's got an open mouth. She can take a bottle. I did um, change her out so that she is much more um, cuddly and um, snuggly. She um, takes a bottle. She takes a modified passy. Um, she has rooted eyelashes. She's super sweet and cuddly. She is wearing definitely new dolly clothes. Both of these outfits came in a box opening from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddle Bugs. I thought they were so cute. These guys are twins. I like to have them in either matching or similar type outfits. And I thought both of these outfits were so adorable. This one has strawberries and lemons all over it and different fruits. And uh, she has a pretty yellow bow in her gorgeous hair. Becca has a cute one with wishing willows all over it and green and a pretty orange bow in her hair. She's just got the painted hair. Um, I just, I love these dolls. They're so cute. They're preemie size to newborn. I think these are actually newborn. Yeah, these are newborn, but they can fit preemie as well, you know, just depending on exactly what the outfit is. But I just thought these were so precious and cute, and they I love the fact that they can take passies, and they're not too heavy. Um, I just love these girls. They're so sweet and so cute, and just precious, precious babies in my collection. So two more to add to my beautiful sleeping babies. Then I have Elvira here. She is a gorgeous sleeping girl as well. She is a Cherix doll. So you can find these on Amazon. She is wearing a cute little butterfly outfit. Look at her cute little butterfly. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. This is a ladybug outfit. As you can see, there's ladybug um, wings on the back with hearts all over them. Isn't she cute in her little fleecy ladybug outfit? But I thought, you know, this doll was one of the first dolls that I totally fell in love, love, love with. When I received her, there's something so calming about sleeping babies. She's one of the first babies that I found. I actually found her thrifting. I found her at a Goodwill. She was brand new though, in the box with all the plastic on her and everything. I do have a box opening video of her um like I don't know a year and a half ago or something like that and I was just um smitten with her and I did um change her out to make her a little bit more cuddly all I did was take some of the stuffing out of her um but I absolutely loved this baby and I love her still so very much her name is Elvira She's just really cuddly, and there's something about a sleeping baby doll that just makes them so comforting and so peaceful and just so fun to hold, and just, there's just something about holding a sleeping baby, like they're just so comforting. So um, when I got her, I could not put her down. I was bringing her everywhere, sleeping with her, the whole thing, I mean, and she's still so, so precious to me. And I thought, you know what, since we're doing show your doll collections and I'm showing my sleeping baby doll collection, I had to show her sisters, her Cherix sisters in their Halloween outfits too. So I'm also showing my Cherix collection. So this here is Lucy. Lucy is wearing her little kitty outfit. This is her Halloween outfit with the ruffles on the bottom. Isn't that so cute? This is her little kitty Halloween outfit. And then we have Lucy. Lucy is the other Cherix triplet. So I have my Cherix triplet and her outfit says my first Halloween. So she's got her beautiful soft rooted hair. Now for some reason these two have wigs. So her hair is just a soft brown wig. Oh sorry she's not looking at the camera. And then um, 
um, Lisa has rooted hair. So her hair is actually a lot nicer than the other two. But they are all beautiful, sweet dolls. All of these Cherix dolls you can find on Amazon. On Amazon, you can find these Cherix dolls. So they are so sweet and cuddly. I did take some of the stuffing out of them, but other than that, they are just beautiful. Their skin is really soft. They take magnetic pasties. They're just sweet, cuddly, soft girls, and they are affordable. They are affordable and fun. They're easy to change. They take newborn size or zero to three clothes. They're just beautiful dolls. And look at their eyes. I mean, they are really, really cute, sweet, and they're so adorable to me. I don't know. They're just cute babies. Once I found her, I was like, there are more of them like that. I figured out what kind of doll she was and where she was from. And I was like, I have to get the other one. So I have all three, the Cherix triplets. So adding these three to my countdown as well. Ooh, and then, oh man, I realize this video is getting really long. I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys are enjoying it. One more to add to my countdown, and then I'm also going to do an oh snap on Leisha at Biddies and Blankets Nursery. She has a beautiful, fun channel, and I saw her changing her baby. Like I said, this was at least a couple weeks ago, guys, and I pulled out this outfit to do a video, and then I just never made it. But first, let me introduce you to this baby. I know you guys have probably seen her before if you watch my channel, but this is my sweet Zariah. This is my sweet Zariah, and she's on fire. No. My sweet Zariah, she is one of the newest babies, the newest reborn artist-made dolls in my collection. I did adopt her from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. She is the Levi sculpt from Bonnie Brown. She is my heaviest reborn, you guys. I did not realize that when I adopted her. She weighs 7.6 pounds. She is a big girl. She is wearing this adorable fleecy kitty jammy so cute so sweet look at the bottom on this she's got a little kitty on her butt and she's wearing this cute little bonnet but i'm gonna change her today into this outfit for a oh snap on leisha look at this cute little i'm pretty sure this is what she was wearing if it's not i am so sorry it says tiny and treasured and it's got mini mouse on it and it's got green and pink and white stripes. Minnie Mouse is holding a teddy bear and it is a cute little onesie with little ruffles on the sleeves. And I was like, hey, I have that onesie. She was putting it on, I'm pretty sure it was a Liam girl that she was putting it on. I'm like 90% sure. And then I have these little green pants that I'm gonna put on that match. It has little mini on the legs. And then I'm going to put this little hat on her. I think she might have had a Minnie Mouse hat on her baby, but I have this little pink hat that I'm going to put on my girl today. And then she's also going to put on these cute little booties that are pink, white, yellow, and blue striped. So we're going to change my girl, and then we'll do the final count for today and see how many I added to the book. As you can see, she has hat hair. Look at how cute her little hair is, though. I mean, I don't know if you would actually call this combi hair because she does have some painted hair under there and also some rooted hair. But this baby, she is the most flexible of any of my dolls. Besides being the heaviest, whatever she has, um, I think Mandy said that they were called like rings or something in her... Um, joints or whatever you call the area you know where the um the body meets the um the body meets the limbs and I'll show you like her limbs move so freely so like there's a disc or something in here same with her head it moves so freely on her legs and her arms and her head more than any of my other babies. And she's the heaviest of all of my babies, even my big toddler babies. Um, the only baby that was heavier 
um, I have my um, Salia, my Marisol, that um, Marisol's, um, Marisol made for me. She sent me that baby back super heavy, but I took some of the weight out of her. I think she was like almost nine pounds and that was a little too heavy for me. Like I, it was like hurting me to carry her around. So I reweighted her, but this baby at 7.6 pounds is like, I can do it. You know what I mean? Like it's just heavy enough to where it's like, I'm like, oh, she's heavy, but it's not too heavy where I want to, um, take any weight out of her but it's like that's about as heavy as I would want to go but see as I, even as I move anything she just like slides around but I find it really fun because she's my only baby like that and when you have a live baby they move you know what I mean like they don't just sit still for you while you're changing them and stuff they move on their own so I kind of find it really realistic as I'm changing her and moving her around so it's kind of really fun to have a baby that moves so much. And look at how realistic she looks just laying there. Now this baby, if you saw, I did a video yesterday of my shelves and stuff. This baby stays in my room. Some babies um, are in my room. And some of them that I forgot to mention were kind of upset that I forgot to mention that they are in my room as well. Like um, Tova. Tova's in my room. And... Um, Lorenzo, of course. Lorenzo, he's got a spot right next to my bed. He's got his own little cradle right next to my bed. But see how her head will just move? But that's how real life babies are. They actually move, you know, they move on their own. So it's kind of fun. And um, because Mandy was like, you know, well, you can change that out if you want to. And I was like, no, it's kind of fun having a baby that does that. Because see, watch, as I do this, she's moving. Like, she's moving on her own. And I just love her so much. Little Z. Her name is Zariah, but I call her Little Z. She's just so precious to me. I absolutely love. I mean, I love all my babies. If you guys can't tell, you know, people will say, well, what's your favorite baby? I mean, there are babies that I feel extra I don't know extra strongly about um and the way she curls up I mean this is just how they love to curl up you know like I work at a doctor's office and when I am doing the baby's vitals you know um one of the things we do on babies when they come in for their well child checks is we put them on the scale and we have to stretch them out and see how um tall they are and how much they weigh every time they come in and of course they always curl up their legs and I have to stretch out their legs they always curl up their legs that's just what they do all the time every single time there's not one baby that comes in that doesn't curl up their legs so just the way her little legs are curled up like this is just so cute to me I just love her she's just so cute and this outfit looks so cute Oh, you guys can't even see because she slides. She's sliding. <laughs> and snap on you, Leisha. I don't even know if you got this far in the video because this video is so long. But snap on you. Your little niece over here, Zaria, is wearing Zaria. Oh, my gosh. Zaria, who's on fire. She is wearing the same outfit as your baby. And I'm so sorry that I don't remember what your baby's name was. But, yes. The way her little legs just curl up and I just love her little lips and, you know, honestly, when I first saw this sculpt and I don't even remember whose channel it was on, I wasn't the craziest about this sculpt, you know, I wasn't like in love with this sculpt and there's some sculpts that are like that, you know, you see it and you're like, uh, I don't know if I want one of those, I don't know if I need to have one of those in my collection, but after seeing it a couple times on a couple people's channels, then sometimes it'll grow on you and you'll be like, you know what? I want one of those. And then when I saw this particular baby, I was like, oh my gosh, I love her. I love her. And then when I found out that she was up for adoption, I was like, oh my goodness, I want her. I want her to come home to the jungle room. And here she is. And this is the passy that came with her. 
I love this passy. It's got all these little star beads all over it. And I love this little pacifier. It fits her so perfectly. And these glow in the dark, which makes it so much fun. I just, it's so cute. So cute to me. So I try to always have this with her. It usually matches whatever she's wearing because it's so versatile with all the different colors on here. And I am going to put a little hand on her, but I'm also going to just put a little spritz in her hair and comb it anyway because I like to brush her hair since she has some hair to brush because it's cute. You know, I love it. I love it. And she's just so precious to me. But she's just so sweet. She's just so sweet. And, and just the way she moves just makes her so much fun to cuddle and snuggle. Just such a pretty girl. And I love the way the little hair stuff smells. So I like to put it in her hair. But yeah, I'm just going to put this little cap on her. Let's see how cute she is. Oh my goodness. Look at how precious. Look at how precious my little girl, Zoraya. Little Zoraya in her little, little Disney outfit. So even though today is Sunday and maybe I'm going to do a video tomorrow, we'll see. If not, we're going to tag Disney Monday in here just in case. Just in case. But this is for um, Oh Snap with Binkies and Blankets Nursery. Leisha at Binkies and Blankets. And all of the channels that I mentioned today are beautiful channels. I love being in this community. I love sharing my babies with you. I love sharing this hobby. It's just so much fun. And when I'm feeling good and I'm able, I love watching your guys' videos. And I love sharing my dolls and my hobby with you guys. And, and it just makes life fun, you know, when we can share in it together. And I do want to um, put in Dolly Sisters United too, and that is from Southern, um, oh my gosh, Southern Reborn Nursery. She is such a beautiful, sweet girl, and she just wants us all to be united and have fun with each other and um, just share in the hobby together. There's no reason why we can't all just be friends and get along and share in all dolls together. We all love dolls. We all love beautiful babies. You know what I mean? Like let's all have fun and share together and just enjoy the hobby. And that's what it's all about. You know, um, that's what it's all about for me. That's why I have this channel. I don't know why some other people might have their channels, but that's why I have my channel. Isn't that right, little Z? Isn't that right, little Z? Isn't she just so cute? Well, I'm going to bring on all the dolls that I had on today, and we'll count up the ones that I have to add to my handy-dandy little book for today. So here they are for my doll collection she is not being added to the countdown, like I said, because she was already in the book. I put her in the book the other day, but I'm adding all of these dolls. So let's count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh, thirteen. Lucky thirteen for the month of October. So 13 dolls added to my handy dandy book. So as you can see, that brings us up to number 34. The final countdown. No doll left behind. We're getting up there, number 34. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you for taking the time. I know this was a long video. And we wanted to say... Thank you for being a friend. If you like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love your comments. I love being in this community. I love sharing in the tags. I just love all the friendships that I've made here. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And what else do we want to say? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Have a fabulous, amazing day.